What is up, guys? Neil here with my year in 2017 um, favorite app of the year. And in this case, it's going to be an app combination, um, notably in Custom Live Wallpaper Maker and Nova Launcher. So I'm using this combination because after using Custom Live Wallpaper Maker or KLWP over the course of this year and it becoming my favorite uh, wallpaper maker, um, I found that while it does work with multiple launchers, notably Action Launcher, Nova Launcher, and the stock OnePlus Launcher, um, I found that it works best with the Nova Launcher because of the shortcuts that you can use with the home button, uh, swipe down, search, and all of that. But uh, for the most part, Action Launcher and Nova Launcher have similar similar functionality, so you can get the same layout and um, the same wallpapers working on either one, whichever one. So it depends on whichever one you prefer to use. So in this case, I'll be using Nova Launcher. So once you have them both installed, what we're going to do, uh, or actually before I'll preface this with, because I've done enough reviews already with custom my wallpaper maker this year, I'm just going to do a quick setup like you see here. Um, I have a two page layout like you see here. One page is for the current date and weather and the upcoming weather, which I'm using um, via today weather. And then I have a second page which has my steps widget, which is coming from Google Fit. Um, so once you have Nova Launcher installed and custom live wallpaper maker installed, both of which you can use um, via the free version. But if you want additional functionality, then definitely support the developers and get the pro version. Um, so for Nova Launcher, I have a pretty simple layout. The desktop grid is going to be a 5x4 grid so that the uh, widgets uh, come into play properly and the image fits according to how the size of my screen. So um, if you have a different size screen or doesn't quite fit properly, then playing around with this or the image size will fix that. Um, otherwise, I don't have any width padding or height padding for the layout. Yeah, icon size is pretty standard. Um, for the search widget in the dock, I just have it set to the one that matches the Google one, so the color version here. Um, that's about it for that. Um, I have this a simple um, scroll effect, and I have my wallpaper scrolling to off because there's no wallpaper scrolling in this particular case, no page indicator or anything like that. On the app drawer side, I the only main toggle that I have going on is a swipe to open that you see here. Um, um, basically just to be able to swipe up on my dock and not have a dedicated um, home but or a dedicated app drawer button. Um, and then the um, app drawer size, it all depends on the size of your screen and how much spacing you want, size of your icons and all of that. So there's that. The background I have it just set to pure black, no transparency. Uh, scroll accent color is up to you. Um, I guess I'll set it to pure... Um, let's say pure white, um, just for the sake of consistency. And that's about it for that. Um, for my doc, I have a one doc page and four doc icons for my um, um, folders. And then I have the search bar and doc set above the icon. So just like you see in the pixel launcher, so you, um, you can match that look um, pretty easily. And that's, I think, the bulk of it. I have the look and feel percent to pretty much standard. I have the icon theme going on with a custom icon pack. Um, adaptive style icon, just sort of default round, normalized um, icon size and things like that. Um, gestures and inputs, I think I left it pretty much straightforward. Swipe, nothing for swiping up. Swipe down to for notifications. Um... And that's the only real one of note, but you can do a lot of uh, different things here. So you can open the app drawer, recent app, screen lock, open a specific app if you want, um, load a specific shortcut if you want, or anything like that. Um, so that's all for um, Nova Launcher. So I basically just, um, it's a, as you see here, and um, pinching will open up the quick preview. So you'll see that I have two pages going on, and that is it. But... Um, that all depends on, or to get my, the layout that I have, you can, it can work with one page or it can work with multiple pages depending on how many widgets you want to set up. Um, so from here we'll go into uh, custom live wallpaper maker. So the layout I have set up here is because I don't want to, I want to have an image but I don't want to take up the full background because the problem that we run into, um, and I'll show you right here, so I'll set a wallpaper. So let's say I set... Um, an image from my phone. Uh, let's say I set um, this 
this particular one and I want to set it right in the middle. I'll set the the wallpaper. Now the my widgets blend in with the wallpaper and it can get uh, weird to read. Um, same thing here, white on white can get, it looks okay, but it could be better and it doesn't really work that well. So um, my problem here is I do want an image, but I don't want it taking up the f um, full background. So what I did is I'm um, using custom live wallpaper maker. I have the image set to a specific portion of the screen and the rest of it is just solid black. Um, Actually, it's not solid black. I'll take that back. I have the um, background set to be the material color, muted material color extracted from the image. So what we're going to do is once you load custom live wallpaper maker, you're going to go into globals and you're going to set a glo um, global preset for bitmap that you see down here. You'll call it whatever you want. So uh, image or whatever. So like you see here, I have image. You'll pick an image. So let's say I want to go up and I want to use um, this one as my image instead. Uh, it's a little bit wide, so I'm going to crop it down a little bit so it's uh, so it fits a little bit um, more into the screen. And you'll see that the background changed color a little bit. And that's because what we're going to do next is go over to background. I kept the background type as a solid. Um, normally, you're going to see the option like this. Uh, where you can pick a manual color, but if you change the box or if you select it and you touch this calculator button, you can set a formula. So what we're going to do is um, you're going to go to bitmap and you're going to say, select any one of these color options for whichever um, color option you want. So I did. I selected this first one, extract muted color from cover art, but that's, what that's going to do is, gonna, is that it's going to extract the colors from your uh, media album art. So if you're playing a music or podcast or anything like that, it'll get the colors from there. But you can just as easily, and this is where the pre global preset we set up with the image comes into play, you can remove that. And you can, and where did it go? Um, we can actually change, oh, there it is. So what we can do is we're going to change that and we can actually set the image uh, variable as our um, preset. So it, does, it hasn't really changed too much here, but um, you can change it to muted. If you want dark muted, just add a D in front of muted. The same thing if you use a vibrant color. If you do D, you can do a dark vibrant color. So that way the, in, the background color that's on the unused portion of your background will be the vibrant color. So we can see that here like that. So let's say we change we take out this the D from D muted it changes to that So it's just the muted co color um, If you change from muted to vibrant then uh, Nothing there or I guess a, it's a dark image. So it's not gonna be too much there dark vibrant not too much there either so um there's that, and then I just disregard all the changes we made there just because there's no change. So that will take care of having a background color that matches the image you picked. And so now the last thing we need to do is actually have an image to load. So under items, you'll see that I already have the image selected, but if you click on the plus sign and you select image, it'll put the image at the top of the screen. So for me, um, we, I wanted the position in the middle of the screen, so just center. And then from here, you'll have to play around with the positioning depending on where you want your widgets, how many you want on each screen, where they actually end up on the screen. So um, I'm going to delete that one, but the image that I, the size I selected, the way it fell into place with my widgets, I had to actually move it down by 110 whatever lines or rows or whatever so that it fits properly with where my widgets landed. Um, and then I set the width of the, or, and then from here, what we need to do is actually have the pick an image from a specific point. So I, again, select the box, select the calculator, and I have it just picking the global variable uh, image um, that we set in the formula. So that way, it, whatever image you have there, it'll pull that image in automatically. I set the width to 720 because that's the width of my screen, but depend, depending on the size of your screen or how, much, how you want the image to display, you'll adjust that accordingly. And I pretty much left everything else as is. Um, so it basically from here, you're all set. You'll set the your custom live wallpaper as the wallpaper and you're all good to go. So in this case, I'm going to change it a little bit to a different image. So let's pick this one. Um, it's going to load the image. You see it already, it already picked 
the colors um, and I'm gonna do that crop that a little bit and you see that it I uh, changed it to a purplish hue from to match the color if you want to see a different color I'll take out the D from D muted and you see it adjusted automatically so a pretty nifty way to get a minimal layout um, and then from here you can um, pick whatever widgets you want so just long press on your home screen or open the menu or open up noble launcher or sorry the uh, your widget picker however it is on your device and whatever's on your device you can pick from here so if I wanted a Firefox search bar I could select set that in there um, and if the on Nova launcher the one thing that's nifty is that if the padding is off a little bit you can adjust it to fit a little bit better on your screen so there is that option so we'll remove that um, and then whatever other widgets you want on your home screen that uh, works nicely with whatever you're doing um, definitely helps out so that is actually all for this particular review um, Nova Launcher and Custom Live Wallpaper Maker are available in the Google Play Store. Um, you can get both for free to play around with them and see if it's something you like. The Pro version in Nova Launcher adds, um, I think, gestures and um, I don't know if notification badges are part of the Pro version or the free version, but um, a couple of gestures and inputs are available in the free version with more in the, pay in the uh, Pro version. Um, and then with a the custom live wallpaper maker, you can create your own wallpapers and apply them. But in order to import or export um, ones that are already made, you do need to pay for the pro version. So there is um, that as well. But um, the, they're definitely worth the price and worth checking out. So if you um, like them, then definitely pay for the pro versions. But uh, for the year end, I just wanted to share a minimalist uh, or a minimal layout that I have going on that matches a pixel UI and also uses, for example, um, the date and weather pill that we saw that comes with a pixel launcher. And that's about it. And then the same um, pixel uh, date and weather thing can be created in um custom live wallpaper maker if you want if you don't want an extra widget and if you want to set up uh your own shortcuts and things like that i recommend and this is on a side note i recommend using a stack group with a layer being um horizontal center and then you can add text items or basically i recommend the text items so you can have the three or I recommend three text items to be more specific. So the first one is going to be your date. So uh, when you stick the date in here, you can do that. And I'll just create a quick one so it's not it doesn't it's not too time consuming. But if you do, you can stick the date like that um, in the first text box. In the second text box, I recommend putting the uh, little vertical divider. I'm, I forget what that's called. In the third one um you'll put the actual uh weather itself and so you have the weather showing up there and then i recommend um and then for the actual weather icon if you go into component and you do um the weather flat svg so that way you get the color version of the um, icon it's already set to current so you're good to go there night icon on and off the only thing you'll have to adjust is a size to match the or sorry, not opacity, but size to match your font. Um, and you pretty much got yourself the weather and date pill there. Um, the easiest way to have everything match on the pill is to create the first text box with a date, set the size, font, and all of that. And then you, what you can do uh, from here is you can actually select that item, you can copy, and you can paste the text. So all you have to do is change the text in the second box and the third box. Everything else matches and you're good to go. Um, the only thing else that you'll have to change from here is if you go into layer, you're going to have to change the margin. Um, so if it's properly on your screen, I think 10 or 20 actually works best for the spacing and um, it looks about right and then the size depends on your screen and width and all that but around 30 to 40 is about right I think 30 is what I had it set to before 20 is probably matching exactly the uh, weather pill so there is that to uh, work with as well but um, there is that so um, that is actually all for this particular review if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that then 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find links, subscription links, and all of that good stuff on the website at PatelN01.com. And, of course, if you like this review and want to check out all the reviews, uh, they can be found on YouTube at YouTube.com slash PatelN01. And, of course, you can help support the show, get this content, get the content early and in your podcast feed by visiting Patreon at Patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.